let's start at the beginning. Project settings. When you go to start a new project now, we're going to hit plus for new project, you get a choice and you'll be given this information that your video will now be based on your first clip added, your frame aspect, and your color space. You can still pick it and determine it here or you can let it be determined by the first video that you place in your clip, which makes that a very important clip. So let's just start with project six and we're going to come to this very first clip. By laying this clip on here, when I come to my gear to look at my settings, the frame rate is 30, landscape is 16.9, and the standard color space. So that was that is all based on this very first video. Now you can always come in here and change these settings that you want to change. One of the other project settings is the ability to take a clip. Now you can see it's named LumaFusion 2.4. I went in here to the eye, tapped in here and named this LumaFusion 2.4. If I'm off of this and I've nothing just chosen, I can come here and rename this. And so now you'll notice this is the name of the project is Drone Example and I can put notes in here, etc. My favorite thing that we're going to talk about now, so we'll bring in this video and the first thing I'm going to do when I double tap on it is I'm going to key, just so you can see what happens when you key this. And I'm going to bring this over and that now has turned to black. Is let's come in to frame and fit and let's crop the left, let's crop the right, and one of the important things is we're going to move this up because it looks really good until you put a background on it underneath it and then sometimes you see some difference. So I'm really pretty pleased with what this has been able to do right off the bat. So let's look at this chroma key. I can use the saturation range and the brightness range. The erosion if you look at my hair here, um, you can see as I bring in this erosion setting, I'm losing hair. So, you know, the least I can do, the better. And then the blur just gives you, sort of takes away that very fine edge to this and just gives it a little bit of a blur. So you don't have to set that very high. And spill suppression, it basically takes out the green spill. I can reverse key this to get an idea of where my issues might be. And I can also mask this. And I can see right here we have a problem here. So I have to bring that saturation range up. So now I had a little edge here that is gone. Come grab a picture. I chroma key it. You can see here and if I mask it, you can see this problem. So by bringing my saturation down a little bit and by bringing the brightness down, okay, now I bring this back and I'm much happier with that. We're going to talk a little bit about the color selector. Because of iOS 14, LumaFusion can now have a better color picker. Titles, we'll tap on the text and we'll come to the face color and you're going to see the new grid spectrum and sliders. Now one of the things that I like is I'm going to come here and I'm going to choose let's say the white of my shirt or the gray of my shirt so that I can use this grid right here and pick a color that way. If I really like this color I can just say plus and now it's one of my favorites. And so if I have this blue and I don't like it, I can delete it. So if you're working on a project, this is great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go plus. I'm going to put an overlay title on here. And I'm going to change this to a box. And I'm going to come to this. I'm going to go to frame and fit, cropping. Down at the very bottom now we have invert. And what that allows me to do is I can now come here and crop. Let's just say I'm going to crop this five and this one five. So now they're all five. I'm going to come to edge softness about a six and we'll bring the corner radius up a little bit. So now I have this look here that's very cool and I'll give you the other thing that you can do with this. Come here to frame and fit again, cropping. 
And what I'm going to do is come to the very beginning of this video, put a crop mark in it. Now what we have is here, what I'm going to do is that's 1409. I'm going to roll this to about 1529. So I'm going to put a crop mark in. Then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to crop the left. And now as I do this, it'll that's how it's going to come in, just like that. So you can tell you're going to have some really cool transitions with this. So that is inverted crop, and I can think of a million things that I can do with this, but that's just one idea. Now, one of the new features of LumaFusion is to be able to use the color space of HDR and 10-bit. And these allow you to use all the colors that are available for these higher end televisions. And I believe it's something like 1 billion colors. It allows you to use it for the higher end iPads as well as the high end televisions. Now the wide gamut HDR and HLG can be seen on the newest iPads and also can only be read right now on Chrome and it can be read by YouTube just so you're aware. Now HDR and bitrate are linked and HDR is a process where they use three identical images of varying brightness placed on top of each other to make an overall image more striking. Bitrate refers to the amount of colors in a device that can produce. So the higher the bitrate, the more colors. So let's make an HLG 10-bit video here and we'll drag down a video I've used in the past and you're going to see the different colors that have been chosen. It looks a little darker because it's using a lot more of the colors and the light that's available. Now we're going to do the HEVC transparency export. So here's a little project I put together with a lot of animation and we're going to go to the up arrow and we're going to save it as a movie and photos and then we're going to go to the video Kodak and we're going to change it to HEVC with transparency. Now we're going to just click the up arrow and save it as a movie. And we're going to come get that movie and drop it down on top of a video. And you'll see that it was transparent and everything, all the animation comes in here. And I've duplicated it just so we can see it twice. Now this is just a small example, but the animations that will be able to be created with this new feature is really boundless and limitless. I can't wait to play with it more. So of course, a lot of people, you may ask about lighting for green screen, and I will tell you that I do not have my big lights. There's a description in the video that I created on how to make your own green screen lights or how to make your own lights for your background. And with this new LumaFusion green screening uh, set up, it's like a snap. So hopefully you'll play with it and try it. It's really not hard. All you need is a green screen. And again, you'll find that down in my description below what I use. Hello, you wanna know more about how to set up a green screen in your office? Put those kind of comments down below and I will. What I'd love for you to do is take a gander over here at this playlist. This is everything I've done on LumaFusion. And also down here, you'll see some of my videos that I have did just most recently. So please make sure you subscribe, tinkle that little notification bell, and please leave your comments down below. I love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching the Peppy Techie YouTube channel.